Hey everybody, this is Steve, and if you want to participate in youth ministry programs and events, then you first need to become a youth worker. In this video, we're going to explore what exactly a youth ministry program or event is under the new policies for the safety of children and youth. And we're going to learn what a youth worker is under the policies. But first, if you haven't yet, remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on great Orthodox Christian content. All right. Let's get started. One of the big steps forward that we've taken with our new policies for the safety of children and youth is creating a new category of church workers, people who do very particular and very important work in the life of the church. These people are youth workers. You may have heard that phrase before, but we're using it in a very particular way. Because under the policies, youth workers are the only adults in the archdiocese eligible to participate in youth ministry programs and events. And a youth ministry program or event is any program or event designed to serve children or youth. So under the policies, the only people who are eligible to lead a youth group or chaperone a youth retreat anywhere across the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America are youth workers. The only people who are eligible to teach Sunday school or coach basketball across the archdiocese are youth workers. The only people who are eligible to teach Greek dance or oversee a group of altar boys are youth workers. Youth workers are the only adults eligible to participate in any parish, regional, metropolis, or archdiocesan youth ministry program or events. And that's true across the entire archdiocese. Youth workers are the only adults eligible to participate in any program or event that's designed for children or youth. Everything from summer camp to Goya to Sunday school to Greek dance to basketball to volleyball, any and every program or event designed for children or youth. Let me be abundantly clear. If you want to participate in any of these programs or events, then under the policies, you first need to become a youth worker, which means satisfying certain requirements. And if you don't take the steps to become a youth worker, then you're simply not allowed to participate in youth ministry programs or events. You know why? Because you wouldn't be a youth worker. And youth workers, as we know, are the only adults eligible to participate in any program or event that's designed for children or youth. We're setting these standards because of how incredibly important youth ministry is. We're setting these standards to make sure that the only adults participating in youth work are the right people for the job, people who have been properly prepared for the job. It's to make sure that our youth ministry programs and events are safe spaces where young people can encounter Jesus Christ, which I think we can agree is a good goal for us to have. Of course, it will take a lot of planning, organization, effort, and commitment to ensure that only youth workers are participating in these programs and events. And all that work is worth it, because the safety of our young people is just that important. Again, I think we can all agree on that. I hope that you'll join us in making sure that every youth ministry program and event is a safe space where young people can encounter the Lord. A safe space where young people can be the bee and live orthodoxy. In the next episode, we'll cover how someone like you can become a youth worker. Remember, for more information about the policies for the safety of children and youth, please visit goarch.org safety. That's goarch.org safety. And please make sure to share this video. It's important that we spread the word about youth safety to as many people as possible.